All right, everybody, welcome to another women's basketball game here at the John M. Reeves Student Recreation Center. Tonight, we have our very own Centenary College Cyclones against the Mighty Max of Immaculata University. I'm your play-by-play -play man for the evening, Dan Graham, and right now, Centenary's starting lineups are being introduced. The starters for Centenary tonight are number one, Ali Pugnetti, number four, Clarissa Perry, number five, Mallory George, number 12, Nicole Collins, and number 20, Kelsey Borofsky. For the Mighty Max of Immaculata, we got Mackie Fitzgerald, Allison Zimney, Adriana Chaskia, Sarah Smith, and Brittany Merkley. The head coach for Immaculata is Patricia Cantorino, her 14th season here, and her assistant coach is Christy, Chrissy Espenson and Jason Hyman. And the head coach for Centenary is Rachel Widensall, and her assistant coach is Donnie Udika. And tonight, if you could tell from the live feed today, we have some decorations up, and that's because women's basketball for Centenary was celebrating senior night tonight, and just prior to me coming on, they introduced the three seniors on the roster for Centenary, and... Uh, as I'm sure for everyone here, they're going to be missed, and their contributions have been unforgettable. Of course, the seniors for Centenary was number 12, Nicole Collins, number 22, Melissa Kokoda, and number 4, Clarissa Perry. And I just want to give a fair warning to everyone watching. We've, we were having some malfunctions with the scoreboard uh, prior to the game tonight. So if the scoreboard goes off a little bit, uh, then the yes, yeah, so as I was saying, where I was rudely interrupted. Okay, so for the tip off, we have Mallory George and number 44, Brittany Merkley for Immaculata, and Immaculata will start off with the ball. And miscommunication there, a pass that was intended for Sarah Smith, for some reason, did not decide to take it. So, kind of a sluggish way to start off for Immaculata, but plenty of action to continue. So Centenary will control the ball. Clarissa Perry has it. Mallory George and then Nicole Collins playing around the perimeter. Mallory George looking to drive in. Gets two points for Centenary. So Centenary will start with a 2-0 lead. So Immaculata hoping to add on to this. Ooh, looks like they're going to test a range tonight at number 13. Al Allison Zimney went up with a three, did not get it. And now here's Centenary coming up with the ball. Nicole Collins setting up a play. So Fugnetti has it. Fugnetti looking down low. Once again, the Mallory George. And a traveling is called. The shot will not count. And the Mighty Max get an op another opportunity to tie the game or take the lead. We've got Mackie Fitzgerald coming up with it. She passes it to Adriana Shaskia. And we're going to see some pass action for the time being. Maculata's just taking their time with this so far. And they're under 10 seconds. We're down to 6. And they have no choice but to take a shot. They better hurry. And a good shot by number 33, Sarah Smith, to get the two to fall. So we're still at a tie game here. And Maculata putting on some full court pressure to try and force Centenary into doing things. Ooh, Clarissa Perry there with a the layup could not get it to go. And Maculata coming up the other way. Adriana Shasia. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Nicole Collins of Centenary. And we're going to continue play. An inbounds to Allison Zimney. Playing around the perimeter again, we got Adriana Chaskia. And a foul is called on Ali Fugnetti. So Maculata will be inbounding the ball off the foul.
and going down low, Brittany Merkley will should pass back out around the perimeter. And back to Brittany Merkley, but a foul is called. Looks to be on Kelsey Borowski of Centenary. So once again, another foul leads to Immaculata retaining ball possession. Brand new shot clock, a wide open Allison Sassia. Had a chance to take a three, but decided to drive in and find somebody else to take the shot. And Centenary gets the ball right back. And Nicole Collins, the senior, will be called in the play here. Looks like she wants to find Alec Fignetti, but was able to dribble away out of trouble right there. But she passes it and stolen by Mackie Fitzgerald all, all the way up the court. And a foul is called on Alec Fignetti. So Mackie Fitzgerald shooting two at the line after the foul. Her first shot goes out, and now we got a substitution for Centenary number three, Jesse Shar. Ali Fignetti will sit out. And her second shot goes up in it. So Immaculata holds a slim lead here, but a lead nonetheless. Nicole Collins with an inbounds pass. It's Immaculata ball. Jesse Shaw trying to inbounds it to Nicole Collins, lost control of it. And the ref say it was last touched by Nicole Collins. So Maculata, an opportunity here. And trying to drive in. And a shot by Sarah Smith off the back of the rim, rebounded by Kelsey Borowski. A good effort by her. Nicole Collins up the court. Clarissa Perry driving in, draws. Draw, Rosa Perry looked to draw a foul, but they did not count the shot. So Nicole Collins inbound on the ball, trying to find somebody before the time runs out. Mallory George going in, a nice block by Brittany Merkley for Maculata, and Maculata a chance to extend their lead. And we'll see here, a three attempt by Allison Zimney goes off. Jesse Shar with the rebound. And Nicole Collins will be bringing the ball up the court. And she finds Kelsey Borowski looking down low. She finds Jesse Shar. And some pass action. Looks like she wanted to give it to Mallory George. But Kelsey Borowski's shot goes a little too hard off the glass and off the rim. So Immaculata coming up the other way. Mackie Fitzgerald with the ball. She passes it to the top of the key to Zimney and then back to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald looking to drive in, but she'll pass it out. And driving in. Allison Sassia, nice floater. So 5-2 to two Immaculata. Nicole Collins giving it to Kelsey Borowski. And a pretty open lane from the full court press. And Jesse Shar driving in, but she finds Clarissa Perry. And wide open Mallory George. A good two right there. To get Centenary within one. And we got a foul called. And Jesse Shaw will be called with that foul. So right now, only four and a half minutes into this, and Centenary has already racked up 14 fouls. So it looks like Centenary wants to play pretty aggressive because they're they understand Immaculata's capabilities. And I don't believe I mentioned this before, but uh, record-wise, Immaculata is killing it in the CSAC right now, as number four, Brittany Merkley, makes it two for Immaculata. Immaculata right now is 14-5 and five overall, and they have a 9-1 conference record, and Centenary just a few games behind. They are 7-12 and 12 overall, but they have a 5-5 five five conference record. And Centenary is fighting for the last spot in the CSAC tournament. And they have a few more games to get there, but something here against Maculata could be a good sign. Right now, Centenary is only within one possession, so 
We can just imagine how the rest of this game would go. Centenary keeps pace with Maculata and Jesse Shar passing it to Nicole Collins. Nicole Collins has a three opportunity, can't get it to fall. And rebounded by number 33, Sarah Smith for Maculata. And she plays it smart and bounces it off Mallory George to retain possession. And here we go again. Maculata holding a 7 4 lead, 14 30 remaining in the first half. Ooh, and a nice steal by Clarissa Perry. She's going against the odds here. One against three, and can't get the layup to fall. So Maculata coming down the other way. Jesse Shar, a nice poke and a steal. Good effort on her part. Number 33, Sarah Smith, did not see it coming. And Nicole Collins will pass it to Jesse Shar. Down to Kelsey Borowski and Mallory George. We'll take a jump shot on the paint. Rims out, and Maculata gets the ball back. And Maculata just looking to extend their lead no matter what shot they have. And they'll take a shot right now. A nice swish by number 13, Allison Zimney. And a timeout by Rachel Widensaw. So we got a full timeout for the Cyclones. So now that we have this full timeout and this time that we're sharing together, I'd just like to give a little shout out to Centenary College. Whether you're a high school student looking for a college that provides hands-on learning instead of lecture halls or a community college student hoping to finish your degree at a small private college that offers individual attention, Centenary College always treats you like a person and never a number. Centenary offers a strong career development center, amazing internships, NCAA D3 sports, and many leadership opportunities, all within a diverse, welcoming atmosphere on a beautiful campus. Or maybe you're a working adult looking to advance your career. Centenary offers convenient one night per week and online bachelor's and master's degree programs in Hackettstown, Edison, and Parsippany, New Jersey that can help you be promoted, earn a higher salary, and take on more interesting work. To learn more, visit centenarycollege.edu. Discover a Centenary College where your dream career can be just a degree away. And we had a full timeout called by Rachel Winesaw of Centenary. Only a 9-4 lead held by Maculata. 13-39 remaining in the first half. The Maculata seems to have plenty of uh, flow. At this point in the season, to say the least, 9-1 conference record. It seems like they have a, a good nucleus of players. And right now we are holding the game temporarily, it looks like. Yeah, it looked like nothing major. Sarah Smith just needed to be taped up a little bit. But we're going to resume play here. Nicole Collins up the court. And Mallory George will fly into Jesse Shaw and then playing around the perimeter again. And Mallory George has an open lane and a good floater on her part to get it down to within three points. Nine to six, Immaculata. And taking a jump shot, number 13, Allison Zimney, a good shot to extend their lead to five. And it looks like we'll be having Melissa Rabe sub in for Centenary just shortly. And Kelsey Borowski coming up the court. Mallory George now has it. She'll find Nicole Collins. And we find Mallory George, Nicole Collins. We'll find Clarissa Perry. She'll take a baseline three off the rim and rebounded by Mackie Fitzgerald for Immaculata. Has some help here, but looks like she'll outlet it to Lindsey Kress, who had just who had just subbed in the game after that timeout. And Brittany Merkley draws a foul. So Kelsey Browski getting called with that one. Brittany Merkley will be shooting two at the line. Her first shot. Is good. So now we have Melissa Rave subbing in, and Kelsey Borowski will be taking a quick breather. 
So another attempt here by Brittany Merkley. And Brittany Merkley gets both to fall. So Maculata opens up a 7 point lead right now. Only 12-20 remaining in the first half. So nothing to fall back on, nothing to be proud of at this point. But Jesse Shar looking to get Centenary closer but misses her shot. And coming up with the ball, number 13, Allison Zimney. And she'll find Kras. Spend some more perimeter action. And Zimney will take a three. The hot shooter right now, apparently, for Immaculata. Zimney getting the three to fall, 16 to six. And Jesse Shar has an open three. Tried to play off the glass, but Calissa Perry there with a the rebound. Gets it to fall. So Calissa Perry is shot right there. Gets the lead down to eight, back within single digits. And once again, Zimney has it, but she'll pass it to Kraz, who will attempt a three, but Calissa Perry there with the rebound for Centenary. And now Mallory George looking to drive in, but she'll find Shar up and around, and Clarissa Perry gets to the top of the key. Melissa Rabe, more pass action. Nicole Collins ends up with the ball. Only eight seconds remaining on the clock. Nicole Collins can't get the layup to fall, and Maculata a chance again to extend their lead to double digits. And Merkley has it. She'll find Kraz baseline trying to get past Shar. And a layup right there is missed, but rebounded by Maculata, and a foul is called. Nicole Collins getting called with that foul. So inbound on the ball will be Mackie Fitzgerald. For the Max and a miss communication right there gives the ball back to Centenary. And we got a substitution for Immaculata. And a substitution for Centenary, number 21, Marissa Kinsey coming in. And we got Kim Osija coming in for Centenary. Mallory George will sit out. Number 44, Brittany Merkley will sit out for Immaculata. And another chance for Centenary. Ooh, mishandling the ball, but a foul is called. So a foul called on Allison Zimney. So Nicole Collins passes it to Rabe on the inbounds and back to Collins. And tried to get it down low to Ray, but it was poked away. And back into the hands of the Mighty Max. Fitzgerald driving in, had an open lane, but... Ooh, a foul is called on Nicole Collins. And looked like she couldn't believe it. Well, Mackie Fitzgerald was uh, going going in for layup, and the Cole Collins appeared to just knock the ball away and went out of bounds. But apparently, the ref saw a foul there, and the Cole Collins wasn't happy with that. So, consequently, she will be sitting out for the time being before her foul total gets up a little too high. So we got Mallory George subbing back in, as well as Ali Fugnetti for Centenary. And Fitzgerald's shot goes in. So 18 to 8, Maculata. Only a 10 point lead. Chris Perry looking down low for Mallory George. Three people in her face, but she finds Ali Fugnetti. She's going to take a baseline three just off and a little scrimmage for the ball. And a shot by Zimney, goes off, but rebounded by Immaculata, Fitzgerald looking for something. She'll find Sarah Smith, and Sarah Smith will go over to Kinsey and to Kraz now. Fitzgerald looking to drive in, but she'll find Smith, and Smith, uh, some more pass action. And a three attempt by Kinsey goes in. So Immaculata with the sharp shooting right now. It's 21 to 8. Set, uh, Immaculata. 
So Mallory George will be taking a jump shot for Centenary. Can't get it to fall. Carissa Perry with the rebound right there. Good. Thinking on her part. Good quick acting. To get the two for Centenary. It's only 21 to 10. And now we have Immaculata looking to answer. And another three attempt by Kinsey goes off. Immaculata trying to save it. They do a good job. Sarah Smith there with the save. And Fitzgerald going up for lap. Can't get it to go. So Melissa Ray gets the rebound. And now Ali Fignetti will be leading the charge for the Cyclones. And Ali Fugnetti took a shot blocked by Kraz, but Ali Fugnetti gets a second chance at it. Doesn't get it to go. Immaculata coming up the court. And a three attempt by Sarah Smith goes off. And Ali Fugnetti there with the rebound. Melissa Ray with some help right there. Clarissa Perry looking to drive in. She'll take it, but she'll give it to George. A foul and one. So, looked like we had, yes, it was Allison Zimney there with the foul. So, Immaculata, only three team fouls total right now in this first half. So, Mallory George will be tempting her and one attempt. And it looks like we had a substitution for Clarissa Perry, it looked to be Jesse Shore. And Mallory George's shot goes in. 21 to 13 in favor of Immaculata. And almost lost there, but Immaculata is able to recover. Mackie Fitzgerald with a three goes off, but rebounded by Brittany Merkley. Her shot goes off. And Centenary looking to answer back. Only eight points separates them. Mallory George looking for somebody. She'll find Fignetti, and she'll give it to Shar. Thought about a three, faked it, and tried to pass it. It was stolen by Mackie Fitzgerald. Ali Fignetti trying to get the ball back. Looks like the Cole Collins will be coming back in. And a baseline two. Sarah Smith goes in. And a timeout again by Rachel Widensall. 30 seconds. So only a 30 second timeout here. It's only a 23 to 13 lead for Immaculata. 6.50 remaining here in the first half. So nothing too much to worry about for Centenary, but they have to stay on their guard if they plan on pulling in closer to end the first half. And if they're planning on taking a W away from Immaculata. So we're going to resume play here. Cal uh, Kim Osija inbounding it to Nicole Collins. For this final, 6.45 of the first half. So Kim Osija will give it down low to Rabe. Rabe will find George. And Jesse Shar driving in. A good job by her to get the two to fall. So Centenary trying not to stay far behind. They don't want to straggle here as we finish out the first half. Maculata may indeed have a lead going into halftime, but Centenary wants to make sure that they can keep it as close as they can. But a traveling is called on Sarah Smith. Looks like she got got a little banged up there, but looks like she'll be alright. So Kim Osija will be taking a seat on the bench, and Clarissa Perry will be sitting in for her. So we have Nicole Collins coming up. And Mallory George, a pretty open lane. She'll find Melissa Ray pretty open, but it's blocked by Immaculata. 
Number 13, Allison Zimney to be exact. And Mackie Fitzgerald looking to add on to Maculata's lead. And a steal, possibly, yes. Melissa Rabe there with a the steal for Centenary. So Centenary holding off any offensive threats. For Immaculata may be dishing out. Jesse Shar will attempt a three. Looks good, it is! So there's something you could talk about. 23 to 18, courtesy of Jesse Shar's three pointer. And looking to answer back a two by Sarah Smith. Only two points. She was on the line. But Centenary looking promising to finish out this half. Staying pretty close to Maculata. Baseline shot by Melissa Rave. Goes out of bounds. It will go to Immaculata. Immaculata looking to add on. It looks like at this point Immaculata seemed to be expecting that they would be up pretty big right now, but Centenary is really giving them a run for their their money, and a mishandling right there by Brittany Merkley ends up going out. And a three attempt by Marissa Kinsey. So that gives Immaculata a ten point lead again. Centenary just looking to answer. Mallory George driving in, looking to find that answer. Can't get the layup to go. And into the hands of number 13, Allison Zimney for Immaculata. Immaculata looking around. Pretty wide open down low was Sarah Smith, and she got the two to fall. So don't want to speak too soon here, but Centenary seems to control a lot. And Melissa Rabe, wide open shot there, but it was blocked by number 21, Marissa Kinsey. So Mackie Fitzgerald coming up again for the Mighty Max. And looking to drive in. Maculata once again, this heavy pressure down low is not helping Centenary. Brittany Merkley again with another two. Kelsey Borowski looks to be subbing in. To Jesse Shar finding Melissa Rabe again. She'll find Clarissa Perry who can't handle the ball back into Maculata's hands. And substitution for Maculata number 15, Adriana Saskia. And Kelsey Borowski will be subbing in for Melissa Rabe. So only 32 to 18. 14 points separates these two teams. And uh, I was mentioning before about Immaculata is number 13, Allison Zimney, makes it two. Immaculata, I believe they were expecting to be up by much bigger than what they had thought about a minute and a half ago. Centenary had them within, I believe, five before. But a foul is called on Merkley for Immaculata. So as soon as I had mentioned that earlier, Immaculata just seemed to take over. Has a scoring run right now, 34 to 18 right now. Immaculata leads. Kelsey Borowski will take an open shot, might as well, gets a two to fall. And Immaculata once again, oh, nice poke job by Jesse Shar. Jesse Shar playing some excellent defense so far in this half. Krista Perry looking for someone. She'll find Nicole Collins. And going around. She'll find Borowski down low. Almost lost control of the ball, but she ended up anyway. So another chance for Immaculata. Another poke job by Jesse Shar. Able to save from going out of bounds. A good defensive effort by Jesse Shar right here. Plenty of steals for her. And just a matter of uh, Centenary and the rest of the team capitalizing on those defensive efforts. Carissa Perry tried to pass it to Nicole Collins but it looked to be too high out of her reach. Another chance for Centenary, uh, excuse me, Immaculata. Three attempt, 
by number 15, Adriana Sassia. Goes off, Clarissa Perry. There with the rebound. So two minutes remains in this first half. Kelsey Borowski looking for anybody. She'll find Clarissa Perry. She'll try to drive in, but a charge is called. It's looked like Rachel Wyan Salt didn't agree with that, but it's their call nonetheless. So Mackie Fitzgerald coming up the court. Already a 14 point lead for Immaculata. I think Immaculata would be happy if they went up by 20. It's end the half. But that's just Immaculata. So some more opportunities for the Mighty Max to extend their lead. A nice left handed shot by Adriana Saskia. Looks to, look to have taken a shot in the face on that delivery, but 16 points in favor of Immaculata. Jesse Sharp finds Clarissa Perry down low. Let's see if she can get, the, get it to go. She can. So Centenary trying not to play straggler here at the end of the first half. Centenary can't afford to straggle behind a team as good as Immaculata. But ball goes out of bounds and Centenary will get the ball back. So more chances for Centenary to get closer. And here comes Nicole Collins. But foul is called. Immaculata. That's. Yeah, look to be on Kelsey Borowski for Centenary. Offensive foul. Immaculata once again getting the ball back. So once again, Fitzgerald leading the charge for the Mighty Max. And they're playing the perimeter. Going back to Fitzgerald. Miss communication there gives the ball back to Centenary. So Centenary, only one second separates the game clock from the shot clock. And I think Centenary would try to play for last possession. But Nicole Collins... Looking for anybody, she'll find Jesse Shar in a sea of baby blue. And Jesse Shar is two goes in. So only 13 seconds remains in this first half. Maculata would like to score to end the half. Get the final word, last laugh. And they have no choice. They gotta take a shot now. Quick release by number 13. Allison Zimney goes out. So only a 12 point lead for Immaculata. It's only 36 to 24 for the Mighty Max. So what can I say about this first half? Well, I was expecting Immaculata to be leading by a little more considering their status in the conference right now. But Centenary, on the other hand, is fighting for that last playoff spot for the CSAC tournament. So I think Centenary cannot afford to let up. They can't afford to be below pace because it's only tonight. And they only got, I believe, five more games after this, all conference games. So these last six conference games, Centenary has to make the most out of them. So I think only being down by 12 points to end the half is a good sign for Centenary. They can probably build on that, and hopefully they will. So, it's only 36 to 24, Immaculata, 14, uh, excuse me, we're going to be taking a quick break here for halftime, and we'll be seeing you in about 14 minutes, according to our scoreboard here, but when we come back from our halftime break, I will give you the stat leaders for the first half, and we'll see how this game finishes out, and also, tonight is a double header here at Centenary College. Concluding this game, we're going to be seeing the men's basketball for Centenary playing against Rosemont College. That's another conference game for the men. The men cannot afford any more conference losses at this point. But for right now, this is Dan Graham signing off. And once again, a 36-24 lead for Immaculata. And we'll see you in about 13 minutes. And we'll be back from second half coverage.
All right, welcome back for the second half here. Centenary will start off with the ball. So we have Nicole Collins giving it to Mallory George down low, looking to get a shot off, can't get it to fall. But Mallory George gets her own rebound, gets Centenary closer to that lead that Immaculata holds. And uh, when we get a break in the action, I will give to you guys the halftime leaders. And of course, the stats that I'll be giving you shortly will not involve second half stats, just the halftime stats, as I'm sure Mallory George just added to her stat total. But in a steal by number 15 for Maculata, Adrian Chassia from an Ali Fignetti pass gets the two to fall. So Nicole Collins once again coming up the court. So Mallory George looking around, she'll find Clarissa Perry. And down low, miscommunication there, another steal by Allison Zimney for Immaculata. A foul is called. Clarissa Perry will be called with a foul. So her first shot is missed. Sarah Smith at the line right now. So after this foul shot, I'll try to go over the halftime leaders. And she misses her second shot. So for right now, the halftime leaders, as it may, as it may be, Allison Zimney led the first half in points with nine, as she also led the half in assists with three. Uh, Brittany Merkley led the team in rebounds, led the half in rebounds with ten. Not too bad for the first half. And then also, someone not too far behind, everybody else, Jesse Shar had seven points with two assists and two rebounds. And a traveling is called on Allison Zimney. And Melissa Rape will be subbing in for a centenary. So Nicole Collins will pass it to Clarissa Perry. Nicole Collins will take a three. Nice shot by Nicole Collins. And Ali Fugnetti there with a steal. It probably surprised even her. So Nicole Collins come down the other way. Mallory George, an opportunity. Gets it within eight. 38 to 30. Immaculata. As Sarah Smith took a spill right there. Looks like she'll be fine. Immaculata will be looking around. So just more pass action and a three attempt by number 15, Adriana Sastia is missed and sent there another opportunity here. And Mallory George driving in. Ooh. Man, Centenary really making a run right here. 38 to 32 now. Not too far from the lead. And we finally have a timeout. So Patricia Cantorino trying to calm her players down with a full timeout. And Centenary has a lot to be proud of at this point. So once again, I just want to go over the halftime leaders. So leading the half with nine points was number 13, Allison Zimney for Immaculata. And with assists, the same person, Allison Zimney with three assists. And leading in rebounds was Brittany Merkley with 10. And also Jesse Shar, not too far behind the rest of the 
leaders with 7 points, 2 assists, and 2 rebounds. We're going to resume play here. Only six points separates Immaculata from Centenary. Immaculata has, no, Immaculata has plenty of action, but ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with Immaculata. So kind of a questionable call right there, but it will stay with Immaculata nonetheless. And Immaculata really getting that shot clock down. A three attempt by number 10, Lindsey Kras, was off, but another rebound by Immaculata. Right now, Centenary trying to get all the help they can. Mackie Fitzgerald driving around. Centenary fan section trying to get involved, try to mess up uh, Immaculata's flow here. So Kras passing it to Fitzgerald. The crowd getting loud here. Can't even hear myself. The shot goes off. Rebounded by Mallory George for Centenary. It's right now Centenary trying to take control of this game. Melissa Rabe looking around. She will take the shot herself. Goes off the front of the rim. Mallory George try to get the rebound, but Immaculata comes up with the ball. So once again, Maculata looking to extend the lead. Kraz trying to drive in on Nicole Collins. And Centenary does not want to leave anyone wide open. But Kraz will take a three, a baseline three off the rim and rebounded by Maculata. But she falls and Ali Fugnetti come up the ball. Going against the odds here, poked away. And so Centenary trying to to get back into this game, but they don't want to get too far ahead of themselves. And Kraz will be taking a baseline three, an opportunity here, rebounded by Melissa Ray for Centenary. And Centenary doing a good job right now with these rebounds, but they can't let Immaculata be too shooter happy down at the other end. Centenary has to cover some ground here and just draw this lead to as close as they can. Musa Rabe passing it to Fignetti, trying to give a floater to George down low. Goes in! Only four points now. Centenary making an effort here in the second half. And Kraz passing it over to Fitzgerald. And a two was an air ball, but rebounded by Brittany Merkley to get the two to fall. And we got Mallory George. Melissa Rabe there with the baseline two off. Rebounded by Fitzgerald for Immaculata. Fitzgerald looking for someone down low. She'll find it. Nice block by Mallory George right there. Sarah Smith tried to go up with the ball. Mallory George said no. And Melissa Rabe down low. But Nicole Collins gets the pass back out. Carissa Perry trying to get down low. And she'll put up a shot and one. Man, centenary. Just trying to get Maculata all flustered. But Maculata wants to keep their cool right now. So Clarissa Perry. Going up to attempt the and one. Goes in, one possession. Separates these two teams. We got Kim Osija and Jesse Shar coming in for Perry and Fignetti. 
And not too many fouls so far in the second half. Only three combined. Centenary leads with two team fouls. Kraz passing it to Smith. And then back to Kraz for a three. Looks good. No, oh, Eretic. Uh, that's, uh, that's why I have bad judgment, ladies and gentlemen. Mallory George driving in, but a foul is called on Kraz. So that will be a non-shooting foul. Centenary looking for anybody. Osija has it. She'll find Collins. Collins will take a three. Go in. Oh, darn. But Jesse Shar right there. Wow, within one point. Jesse Shar's layup right there. Only 40 to 39, Immaculata. Man, commendable ball for Centenary at this point. Immaculata. Really wants to silence his crowd. Nicole Collins there with a steal. And Kras trying to stop her. But that was a nice block by Kras, by the way. And Mackie Fitzgerald coming down the other way. Ooh, but a jump ball is called. We'll stay with no go with stay with Immaculata. But we got Adriana Shasia subbing in. We got Clarissa Perry subbing in as well for Melissa Rabe. And Ali Fugnetti will be coming in as well. And taking a shot for Immaculata. This is number 15, Adriana Shasia. Misses the shot, but Immaculata getting the ball right back. Man, this is a pretty intense ball right now. But going down, Mallory George there. A little scrummage right there. But Centenary recovers and gets the ball. An opportunity to take the lead here. And I don't even know how this place would react if Centenary took the lead right now. But Mallory George driving in. She finds Ali Fignetti. Fignetti gives it back to George baseline. And looking for Osijo. Osijo will have it. She goes up. Goes in! Whoa, oh, Centenary with a great scoring run here. I don't know what Widenstall told them in the locker room, but Ali Fugnetti called with a foul. And we got Fitzgerald inbounding the ball for Immaculata. She gets the ball back, but she'll find some other people to work with. Fitzgerald was pretty wide open down low, but she'll pass it to Smith. And the two ball right there by Brittany Merkley goes off. And Centenary, a one-point lead. They hold a one-point lead. Clarissa Perry has it. Clarissa Perry driving in. A nice shot by Clarissa Perry. The layup goes in. And Centenary just... Came out of the second half swinging. And a three attempt by number 15, Adriana Shastia, goes off. Chance to tie the game there, but Centenary has a chance to extend their lead by as much as six. Jesse Shar driving, but Ali Fugnetti there, and she'll find Jesse Shar. She'll take a jump shot. Goes in! What? 45 to 40, Centenary now. What is going on? Man, this is some great ball. First free loud right now. Shashio with a three for the time being. Keeps Immaculata within two points. But what else can you say? Centenary was down by double digits to end the half. And here they are. They come out of the locker room and they just start firing on all cylinders. Looks like they had all the right things going for them right up until this point in the second half. It's only 10-22 remaining here in the game and Centenary has a 45-43 lead. Everybody was, for the most part, hitting their mark. Jesse Shar was the uh, last point scorer right there. 
a nice jump shot to extend Centenary's lead to five, but a three ball by Immaculata before the timeout. Makes sure that Immaculata is not gonna stay too far behind Centenary. So, both teams do not want to appear that they're frazzled right now. And Kim Osija looking around. She'll find Jesse Shar. And Kim Osija will take a jump shot. Goes off. Rebounded by Mackie Fitzgerald for Immaculata. So Immaculata, a chance to tie the game here. We're halfway through the second half. But this is some good ball right now. Clarissa Perry. Good defensive awareness right there, but went out of bounds. Last touch by her. So an inbounds to Mackie Fitzgerald. And Immaculata just looking for any open shot they can. They wouldn't be afraid to take a three at this situation, but a two right there by Adriana Shasia. Ties the game at 45. Ooh, a foul right there on Shaskia. So now we have Nicole Collins inbounding the ball for Centenary. They put on a great scoring run before to arouse this crowd. Nicole Collins giving it to Asija and open uh, Brofsky, I'm sorry, not, well, Brofsky gets it two to fall. And driving in, but a traveling is called. Number 33, Tara Smith for Immaculata. 9.04 remaining here. Centenary playing great ball, but we have plenty of action remaining in this game. Chris Perry looking to drive in a block shot. It will stay with Centenary, but a nice block right there by number 44, Brittany Merkley for the Mighty Max. Valerie George will be subbing in for Kelsey Borofsky. Nope, Chris Perry. Nicole Collins will be inbound on the ball. She'll find Mallory George. No, she won't. It will get stolen away by Immaculata. Coming up to court, Sarah Smith. She'll find number 15, Adriana Shaskia. And uh, looks looks like a little drive-in by Zimney. Doesn't go. Ooh, a little scrummage right there. Centenary has it. T call timeout. Someone call. Ooh, but it will stay. Okay, we'll go with Centenary as the jump ball is called. But it looks like we will get a timeout. All right, so even if a jump ball was called there, Centenary would have had it. But Rachel Wyansall did the smart thing and called a timeout before a turn for the worst happened. 47 to 45, Centenary. So 8.29 remaining here. Uh... I speak on behalf of everybody when I say that these last 8 minutes and 29 seconds are going to be a killer. And if you're a Centenary fan, you just got to hope that Centenary can pull out this win. Because you just want to hope that no one gets too cocky or an inflated head and start to do more things than they're capable of. Because Immaculata, this is a hard-nosed team to face and they're one of the top dogs in the CSAC right now. Kelsey Browski's two goes in! Centenary's offensive flow right now is remarkable. And of course we have boys action coming up after this game. And we got some of the men basketball players for Centenary trying to encourage their female counterparts here as they're getting ready to play Rosemont at the conclusion of this game. And a nice block away by Kelsey Borowski there. It will stay with Immaculata. So it's four points here. So only eight seconds Immaculata has to work with. Number 13 for Immaculata. 
Allison Zimney inbounding the ball. They don't have time to set up a play. They just got to take a shot when they can. But a three ball rims out. Rebounded by Jesse Sharp. It was taken away by Zimney. So Maculata, another opportunity here to tack on. But down low, number 44, Brittany Merkley draws a foul. Merkley will be shooting two from the line. Her first shot goes in. And Clarissa Perry will be subbing in for Centenary. Kelsey Borowski will be sitting out. And Immaculata already has it drawn within a possession, but here's a chance to draw within two. Some distraction Centenary's trying to give, but Kim Osija gets the missed foul shot. No way can the Cyclones let up here. They... Kim Osija driving in, a nice floater goes off, rebounded by Merkley in a sea of Cyclones, but Mallory George gets it back to get the two. 51 to 46 Centenary. This is getting too intense. This is getting too intense. And a three ball by Maculata to try to get closer and Mac Clarissa Perry there with the steal. Jesse Shaw is right there, but she'll take the shot herself. Why? She missed the shot. She had Jesse Shaw right there, and she didn't see it. But a foul is called. Nicole Collins will be called for that one. And Immaculata, a chance again to draw within one possession. That might be a shot. No. Number 13, Allison Zimney taking the three right there. Couldn't get it to fall. Nicole Collins coming up with it. Looking to call a play. And Immaculata trying to do whatever it takes to make sure Centenary doesn't get a shot here. They can't afford uh, any more points from Centenary. A bigger lead. And Valerie George there with the turnaround. Nice left-handed layup. Good job playing off the glass. Man, this game is too much. Centenary playing some great ball, but we got too much time for anyone to make to jump to any conclusions. But Mackie Fitzgerald saving the ball from going out of bounds, thankfully for the Mighty Max. Who's control of the ball? Kimbo Sija has it. A foul is called on Immaculata. So we had uh, Sarah Smith there getting called with the Immaculata foul. Allie Fugnetti looks to be subbing in. She'll be subbing in for Jesse Shar. Okay, so Immaculata will call a full timeout. And now that we have this time together, I would just like to give a word on behalf of Immaculata. Be mighty. Choose Immaculata University. Be the best you can be in the classroom, in the friendships that you build, in the ways that you care for your families, in the leadership and teamwork you demonstrate in the workplace. Be mighty. Choose Immaculata, where you learn from those who have gone before. It takes care and more for others than yourself. It takes integrity and teamwork, faith and service. Be mighty in all you do. Located just west of Philadelphia, Immaculata is known for quality, affordable education, small classes, internships, and other hands-on learning. Visit Immaculata online at www.immaculata.edu or schedule a campus visit by calling 610-647-4400, extension 3060. And remember, be mighty. We're going to resume action here, 53-46, to 46. Centenary, 5-56 remaining in this game. And Centenary will have the ball. Centenary has an opportunity here to extend their lead by 9 or 10. And we got Fignetti coming in. 
off the substitution. She'll give it to Nicole Collins on the inbounds. And um, yeah, Maculata double team right there. Uh, Nicole Collins couldn't help it. But a foul is called N1, number 15, um, uh, Adriana Shaskia. Right there, they surprised Centenary right there with a the double team. And Nicole Collins really had nothing else to do there, but she just had to make the most out of that situation and draw a foul. So attempting the and one, Saskia goes in. Yeah, so that was a big ambush right there. They were just coming up to court, and all of a sudden Immaculata just put on a double team and surprised Nicole Collins, and they were able to get an and one opportunity out of that 53 to 49 centenary leads now. Mallory George will pass it to Ali Fugnetti. And yeah, Maculata just putting on that pressure. And she'll find Ali Fugnetti. Mallory George looking to drive in, but she'll give it to Shar. Shar just going around. Pressure right there. Another steal by Maculata. Number 15, Adriana Saskia. And she'll get the two to go. Yeah, so Maculata just playing good defense right now. Clarissa Perry driving up the court. And Jesse Shar will pass it around to Osija. Fugnetti has it. Fugnetti looking around for anybody. Jesse Shar will take a three. Will it go in? No, it won't. And Immaculata there with the rebound and an opportunity to tie this game or take the lead. Looks like Immaculata may have momentum here. Just looking for anything down low. Number 25, Megan Gallagher. Missed her shot, but a three. Oh, thought about three, thought against it. And with the rebound, Jesse Shar right there. Megan Gallagher took a shot. So Kelsey Browski looks to be waiting to sub in. We're approaching a four minute mark here. Too, too intense. Valley Fugnetti will think about three. Maybe shouldn't have, but she didn't know up until she missed a shot. But she had a wide open shot there. She might as well have taken it. And a three ball by Immaculata. Goes off, rebounded by Immaculata, but couldn't get the shot to go. And a timeout, Rachel Wyensall again. What are we seeing here? Full time out. And once again, we have some alone time, just me and you, the viewers. So we'll give a word to Centenary College. Whether you're a high school student looking for a college that provides hands-on learning instead of lecture halls or a community college student hoping to finish your degree at a small private college that offers individual attention, Centenary College always treats you like a person and never a number. Centenary offers a strong career development center, amazing internships, NCAA D3 sports, and many leadership opportunities, all within a diverse, welcoming atmosphere on a beautiful campus. Or maybe you're a working adult looking to advance your career. Centenary offers convenient one night per week and online bachelor's and master's degree programs in Hackettstown, Edison, and Parsippany, New Jersey that can help you be promoted, earn a higher salary, and take on more interesting work. To learn more, visit centenarycollege.edu. Discover Centenary College, where your dream career can be just a degree away. We're going to resume action here. 53 to 41 Centenary leads over the mighty, mighty Max of Immaculata. I'm going to check in a second, but I'm pretty sure Immaculata is leading the conference right now, first place. I'll get a confirmation courtesy of my smartphone but for the time being we're going to see how these last three minutes and 47 seconds play out we got Kelsey Borowski right there she'll give it back to Shar. Ali Fugnetti right there full court pressure Maculata's bring on Kelsey Borowski she'll give it to Clarissa Perry loses control of the ball and trying to save the ball with Centenary but Wyensaw will plead her case but wait wait, wait we're going to have a discussion here Wyensall is attesting that it was last touched by Immaculata. But we'll see a ref's discussion here. Three. But they'll confirm their call. 
Wait, or will they? So it'll be the it'll be the mighty max ball. What? No, wait. Okay, the rest will reverse their call. It will be centenary ball. So a good meeting of the minds that they are between the three referees to get the call right. And some more. So just conversing, we're just gonna put some time back on the clock, or on the shot clock anyway. Allie Fugnetti giving it to Mallory George, looking to drive in. Ooh, nice save by Kelsey Borowski. Almost poked away there from Mallory George. And we got Mallory George again with the ball. Mallory George will take a floater off the rim. And a brand new shot clock for Centenary. Jesse Shar right there. Well, the ref is... <laughs> the ref is just making matters worse. I don't know what Centenary is doing here. They're like, oh, we got to reset this. I don't understand what they're doing here. And uh, I don't know what he's talking about here. We're going to see in a second. Um, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I don't know. The refs called an official timeout, but Centenary had got their own rebound. and uh, So, of course, they have a brand new shot clock and everything. But I don't know why there was a stoppage in play there. Clarissa Perry, it will stay with Centenary. Kelsey Borowski looking to drive in. He hits this shot to go. Man, I don't think I could have made that shot, but that's why I'm up here and Kelsey Borowski is down there. 55 to 41, two possession lead for Centenary. Too intense, too intense here. And a three attempt by McKenzie goes off. Shot, ooh, nice play off the rim right there. Number 15, Adriana Shasia. Getting the shot to go. Kosoborowski has it. Maculata just putting on the pressure. And they got a last touch by Maculata. Goes out of bounds. So it looked like Immac it will go to Immaculata. Grissa Perry tried to get it down low to Borowski, but a little too hot on the pass right there. Immaculata, an opportunity to tie this game again. 216 remains for the Mighty Max and Centenary. And a shot right there looks to be a two ties the game right there. Sarah Smith. And tie game right here. Because Borowski has it, she'll find Fugnetti. These last men in 50 are going to kill me. So Kelsey Borowski driving in a two is good. So, Maculata coming up the court. And a three attempt for Immaculata goes in. So, 58-57 Immaculata now. Mallory George giving it to Borofsky. And Clarissa Perry once again, but Clarissa Perry will hold off on going low. And a lot of people were urging her to go down low, but she wanted to retreat. And Jesse Shaw coming up the court with it. Last minute here we're approaching. So Jesse Shaw will be taking a three. Goes off. Rebounded by Kozabrowski. Fouls called. Fifty-five point four seconds. Kozabrowski, a good job right there. So 
So we got a 30 second timeout. Oh, too much pressure right here. All right. So when we come back from this 30 second timeout, Kozabrowski will be shooting two at the line. It's only 58 to 57 in favor of Immaculata. So, yeah, so I think we're in for a uh, instant classic here. I do believe this will come down to the last possession. And, uh, yeah, we got whoever here is a student of Centenary. If you're on, if you're sitting down, uh, check your pulse. This is too much here. We got a little fan section to the right of me. And also the viewers, right? The, some of the members of the men's soccer team getting involved here. So Kelsey Borowski, an opportunity to shoot two. Goes in. So I had to make sure I was speaking below a whisper here. And once again, I'm going to talk a little soft. Where goes Brown's going to make the shot. That one goes off, but Jesse Shar with the rebound. Jesse Shar, good job. Jesse Shar. Man, what can't that woman do? Number three. Props to number three. Ball will stay with Immaculata. Uh, excuse me, Centenary. Whoa. All right, didn't want to scare anyone at home. This is a good game. This is a good, good, good game. Uh, I may get a little excited, so I just want to warn everybody, I may break the uh, standards of practice for being a broadcaster. But, ooh, nice opportunity there. Kelsey Borowski, ooh, last touch by Immaculata. It will stay right there. Man, 58 to 58 centenary. This is too much. If I don't want to go to overtime. No, I don't want to go to overtime. I am not doing this. I am not going to overtime. Nicole Collins will give it to Fignetti. And a three attempt by the Colt Collins. Last touch by Immaculata. Centenary will get the ball. Last possession. So, shot clock is off. Centenary has all the time in the world. They can take the last shot here, but it's full timeout. Rachel Widensaw will call. And we'll see what Centenary has to pull off here. They do not want to give Immaculata the ball or give them any ample time to do anything. But what else can I say? I think this is good. Yeah. So 58 to 58 this game has in the last 26.7 seconds. And uh, I think we're ready for a scoring change. We need a scoring change in these last couple of seconds. But uh, I'll say this again, this is too much. My voice is cracking. This is way too much. And Centenary, an opportunity here to take the lead. And, uh,. This is getting way too good. All right, I have to calm down here. Full centenary, here we go, the last opportunity. 26.7 seconds remaining. Tied at 58. Pass to the top of the key to Shar. Excuse me, Fignetti. Looking around, she'll find anybody. Mallory George should give it back to Fignetti. We got 16 seconds here. Now we're 16 seconds. Down low to Mallory George. Looking to drive in. A foul is called. No! Travel! It's called. So now Immaculata an opportunity here. And coming up the court is Mackenzie. Last couple seconds here. Mackenzie, four, three, two, one. A shot goes up. It's good. Oh, and Immaculata 
pulls off a stunning victory here. Man, what a heartbreaker. So, that's our game, ladies and gentlemen, our final score. Immaculata 60, Centenary 58. And uh, with that, Immaculata advances to 10 and 1 conference wise, advances to 15 and 5 overall. So, they'll keep their place on top of the hen house here in the CSAC. And as far as Centenary goes, they'll drop to 5 and 6 conference play, 7 and 13 overall. And uh, they have to finish up their last five games here, all conference games. On Saturday, February 8th, they'll be playing Notre Dame of Maryland. And then the rest of their games are on the road. They got Baptist Bible, Cedar Crest, Rosemont, and Marywood to finish out the season. And we'll see how these last couple of games go. But um, yeah, very soul crushing loss right there. Uh, Looked like that last traveling call did it, did it in for Centenary. They had an opportunity to play for last possession. But uh, just didn't turn out that way. And a great shot by Immaculata number 13, Allison Zimney. Was able to give Immaculata the win. So right now, Immaculata looks to be a shoe win for the CSAC tournament and their win tonight really proved that against all odds to pull out that victory. So once again, our final score was Immaculata 60, Centenary 58. I'm your play-by-play -play man, Dan Graham. And just shortly, we'll be having men's basketball for you. We'll have the Centenary men's basketball team against Rosemont College. So we'll see you in a little bit. I'm Dana Graham. And uh, please stick around for some men's basketball action here at Centenary College.